Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are obviously doing a little tutorial on the Yes Please palette by ColourPop. So first we're going to start out by priming our eyes and this is a concealer from ColourPop. I believe it's in the shade Light. I'm just going to put that on first and then we're going to set that concealer with the first color in the palette. But before that, let me show you the brush I'm using. It's from ColourPop as well. So again, that first shade is called Full Zip. It's just a bone colored shade, nothing special, just so we can layer that down and set that concealer. And then the next color that we're going to go in with is called Big Cocktails. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like a peanut butter type of shade with a little bit of an orange undertone. I know that's a horrible way to describe it, but that's just what it looks like to me when I'm glancing at it in the palette. So I'm just going to put that all over my crease area, my upper crease, just as our first transition shade that we're going to go in with. Windshield wiper motions, back and forth, buffing motions, everything that you need to do to get that eyeshadow on there. And then I'm also going to pick up just a teensy bit more of that and just kind of feather it down to my outer kind of area right there. Now I'm picking up a different brush, and this is also by ColourPop. This is just their crease brush. There's no name. And we're going to grab the shade GNO. Not really sure what that stands for. I would like to know, though. And this is just a little bit more of like a burnt orange color. Don't let it intimidate you because it's really, really pretty on the eyes. But we're just going to pack that into our outer corner and then just kind of slowly feather it up in the middle of our eye and then we're also going to bring it in the inner corner as well. I'm doing this because I'm going for more of a soft halo eye effect today. So I'm going to put that in the corner and then I'm just going to kind of feather it up throughout the top. I want to leave the center of my lid blank. And of course I'm jamming out to some tunes. So I'm going to take that blending brush that we first used and just blend those two colors together, making sure there's no harsh lines. I do this after every little step when I'm adding a new color. So now I'm just putting that on the other side. And now we're going in with our next shade, and this is called Spoiled. This is a really pretty rich kind of cranberry red shade. And I'm just going to put that in the exact same spot just my outer and inner corner and just kind of feathering that up. And I probably go back in and dip into the palette maybe twice if that just to build up that color a little bit more to get the true payoff of it. You could don't have to do that of course but that's what I always like to do. Um, now we're just going in with our blending brush again, just blending all that out, making sure those colors melt together. And now I'm going in with this yellow tone shadow. It's called Mischief. And I was a little nervous about using this, so I'm, I'm dusting that off, making sure it doesn't go on too heavy. But it ended up being not at all like intimidating as it looks in the palette. It's very easy to blend out. It's a beautiful color. I just wanted to pop that on the very top part close to my brow bone just so it kind of can peek out of those other shadows. And now we are going in with the darkest shade in the palette called French Kiss on that crease brush. I wish I had a pencil brush to put this on, but I didn't have one from ColourPop. I bought the whole bundle. I need to check and see if I just lost it, but I did not see a pencil brush in the ColourPop brush bundle kit that I bought. So I'm using the pencil brush. I made it work putting that in the inner and outer corner and feathering it up to give it some depth as you can see and again I am using my blending brush to melt those colors together. And for the last shadow that we're using, the star of the show, this is a gorgeous shade called Butter Cake. And this is where my camera really starts playing me. It cut out right when I was starting to put those things on but I promise you this is just straight from dipping my brush into the pan. There's no Fix Plus used. So now I'm just kind of taking some of those shadows and just feathering it kind of back over where we put that gold just so there's no so there's no harshness between the two where the two colors meet. And this is a halo eye, so I want those shadows to kind of just feather over the gold just ever so slightly without totally covering it up. And I'm just going to pat the gold just right there in the center just in case any of the shadows I put on the inner and outer corner kind of like flew onto it. And the sunlight was killing me, you guys. 
So now we're going to jump into the rest of our face and I am going to stop with the voiceover because y'all know the drill. It's not hard to kind of interpret what I'm doing. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. And this is where my camera starts messing up again, you guys. As you can see, the lighting was not right. So it missed me filming the highlighter and finishing off my lips and setting my face. But I will list all those products that I use down in the description box below. So again, here's one more look at the eyes that we did with this palette. I really, really loved it. I can't wait to do more looks with this palette. Like I said, there's endless possibilities. There's so many pretty shades. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.